My first real book was a book called Where Is God When It Hurts? I was only 25, 26 years old when I was working on that book, but that's a question we all have, the question of pain. Why is there so much suffering in the world? I was spending my time in libraries reading books on the problem of pain and the curse of pain, and my wife brought me a little pamphlet that she found in a closet somewhere that was on the gift of pain by Dr. Paul Brand. So I called him up out of the blue, asked him if I could come interview him, and we got together and eventually spent 10 years together writing on books. He had a unique view of pain, unlike anyone I've ever met. He said, thank God for pain. If, if there was one gift that I could give my leprosy patients, it would be the gift of pain. About a third of patients with leprosy eventually do go blind, and it's because they don't feel pain. We have a little pain cell inside our, our eyes that tells us every time our eyes dry out and we blink every few seconds, all day long. A person with leprosy doesn't feel that pain, so he doesn't blink, she doesn't blink, and therefore they can go blind. I met a man who lost his fingers because he insisted on raking leaves with, uh, without gloves and he had a splinter that went under the skin. He didn't treat it because he didn't feel the pain and eventually an infection set in. In fact, the Surgeon General, Dr. C. Everett Koop, who I interviewed at one point, told me that Dr. Brand was responsible for preventing something like 50 to 70,000 amputations per year. Because it's not just leprosy where people become painless and are in danger. In a disease like diabetes, also there's a numbing effect. And if you don't feel pain, through the shoes you wear, through not paying attention to blisters if you're doing something out in the yard. That can create a danger that eventually leads to amputation. And once doctors know that, once patients know that, they can look for other warning signs and prevent the kind of abuse that Dr. Brand spent his life treating.